Okay, here we go. This is my super professional uh, AVE overhead setup here. I worked very hard uh, to set it up. And we're going to go over like a little bit of a mail time thing for this one box. And a lot of you may or may not know the Terminator series ECU and the Holly HP have limited inputs outputs. So essentially there's four inputs and four outputs you can use. Uh, I like to call it six and four because essentially they're giving you fuel pressure and oil pressure for free and you can put uh, be realistic here you can put whatever you want on there you don't have to use oil pressure you can use that as coolant pressure or something else but yeah most of the time if you're pushing your setup you want to know fuel and oil pressure so a lot of people complain that the IO is too limited and blah 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 and they don't have the money for the dominator which is the clear solution for a major amount of IO it has like 96 inputs and outputs well, you know I get it not a lot of people want to do that and I must have been hounding my friends for about a year to develop uh, some sort of pro product uh, device that adds IO to that series of ECUs because I'm like man it would be an incredible product uh, you guys should do it well Holly went and did it Holly went and did it they just uh, did it themselves. So, they make this guy here, the CAN-IO module. And it has part numbers, and it has wiring diagram, and it adds eight inputs and eight outputs. With a little CAN box with a wiring harness. And it is awesome. And the only problem I have with it is, I'm not sure what I want to put it on, because my Mustang is going to have a Dominator, and my G I want to get rid of. I don't want to add this to the G. I don't really need uh, this many I.O. in my G. Yeah. It's pretty much done. Uh, so what's in incredible is uh, this product is incredible. So I got to find, I've asked a few of my friends if I can install this. Uh, if we want to do, see you got to have somebody that wants to do a bunch of sensors so this is like my predicament is this is awesome but uh, I need somebody who uh, who wants to go through with this because you can put this on a car and do one input and one output but that's uh, you know that's kind of a waste of what's here and doesn't really show anybody what this is <laughs> representative of or uh, capability of this box so I believe it has eight grounds that can be PWM'd, so you can do like bump and everything out of these outputs. You can turn on fans, you can PWM nitrous kits, everything else, and does it show a bunch of the inputs like pressure, temperature, pressure, temperature, hall effect. So. I have to look at what the inputs are. 5 volt sensor power input. I would love to see a chart that. Oh, what's this? What's this? What do we have here? Output 1 and 2, ground, output 4, 5 volt sensor power, sensor ground, 5 volt H, can H, sensor ground inputs. I would love to see a chart that's like what it can exactly do. I guess I need to install it on something and simply look at uh, what it's capable of. Can every input do... Here's the thing. Can every input do temperature? Can every input do 0 to 5 volt? Can... You know, is it fully fledged like that? Or are only some of the inputs temperature? Are some of the inputs 5 volt? Are some of the inputs frequency? Uh, that remains to be seen, right? So, I would love to put this on someone's car that has a terminator and they want to do like coolant pressure and they want to do like additional IO obviously back pressure every so they have like their entire IO starved with fans bump brake output yada 
and then they want this to do coolant pressure, back pressure, uh, crankcase, two bar sensor, all, all sorts of stuff like that. Wheel speed sensors, uh, if they can, I mean, they have hall effect and frequency, so assuming you can do that too. So I got to do much more research on it and possibly just install it on a bench and figure out the IO capability. Uh, other than that, uh, finally, cool, incredible product. But you guys have to remember, I think these are 350 a piece. So if you add two of these, it's very close to the price of a Dominator at some point. So it's something you need to consider. And these are only eight inputs and outputs. Uh, if you get halfway there, the, the price of this becomes not a good idea because a dominator, you're most of the way to a dominator and that has 96 IO. And here's the thing, if you have a Terminator X and you don't have drive-by-wire and transmission control, a dominator does. And on top of that, it has 96 IO. So this is there for people that want a little bit more and want to spend a little bit more. But, uh, you know, I, I want to warn you guys, Terminator is out of stock all the time and Dominators are in stock and have been in stock this whole time. So you need to consider that, right? If you're going to add, if you think you're going to be even close to doing enough inputs and outputs for this guy, you should heavily consider uh, getting the Dominator, in my opinion. That's not a sales pitch. Uh... I'm just going to tell you, if you want as much as this, you should probably consider uh, just making the upgrade path, because you're probably going to want more, and it'll be nice to have it, right? And the Dominator can do high high impedance, low impedance, dual wide bands, drive-by-wire, dual drive-by-wire, transmission control, and it literally has more I.O. than most sane people will ever be able to use. So, I think this is incredible for people that want to do a tiny bit of add-ons. I can't wait to use it on someone's car. I've been trying to push it on my buddy Brett. He, he doesn't seem interested because he's like, I don't need more I.O. So he feels bad uh, somewhat wasting this, right? So now I have to talk Mitch into installing 10 extra sensors on his car to make this worthwhile also or we need to find somebody else I know, uh, or I need to build an entire other car based around this, but uh, more seriously, I'll probably add it to the G and then add some sensors just to see how it works and how well it works and do uh, some sort of an install video, but I'm, I'm happy they made this. It's, it's incredible to me that they did this uh, because this is something I didn't think they would do and, and uh, I thought my friends would be really profitable on this and then they went and did it because this is halfway like I keep saying this is halfway to a dominator and then you have 12 inputs and outputs realistically with the 4 and the 8 uh, versus 96 anyway this again that's where we are with this I have to hook it up to something and try it honestly because seems super cool. I'm wondering about the capability of the I.O. and how it functions. I don't know. So if someone comes to me and has this installed, I will be a little bit of a blubbering idiot and not know how to set it up or utilize it correctly. So there it is. They sent me one to test. Uh, I didn't even know they were going to send me one. I am happy they did, but now I am faced with the task of uh, finding something to use it on. I guess, uh, you know, again, I guess I'll put it on my G and then take it off and then find somebody I know that can fully utilize something like this so we can give people a use case scenario, base of operations, a base tune file, and an idea of, of what you can do with this. So that's all I got. Thanks for listening. Bye.